Hey everyone, Jeff Ford here for you, back talking about how to allow your motivation to blossom. I think everyone can relate to this one that oftentimes when we're struggling in one area of our life, one life account isn't going the way we want to, whether it's health, whether it's family, whether it's work, we tend to think, what do I need to do more of? We fall into this thinking of, I just need to add this, or I just need to do this, and if I did this on this day, or I push myself to do this, then everything would get better. And the question I want to pose in this um, video on, on allowing your motivation to blossom is really based off a book uh, called Essentialism by the author George McCowan. And it's a really deep question and it it's, it's really gets us to the heart of figuring out how to live more efficiently. And it's the question of how do I do less but better? Let me pose that one more time. How do I do less but better. And this can really drive your motivation because nobody wants to spend time doing more than they have to. They want to find the most efficient approach to getting the things that they're after accomplished. If you have that driving force, you have that big why, you want to know how to get there the quickest. So here's what you need to do. You need to identify those things that you can do less of and do them in a different way. So if your workouts are taking an hour and you're not seeing results, how could you get those workouts down to 30 to 45 minutes and then see results? Because there's a very efficient way to set up a strength training routine or a cardiovascular session so that you get those benefits. Maybe you're seeing yourself in your life um, always cooking every single night and night after night you cook and cook and it seems like you're never getting out of the weeds. What if there was one day during your week where you had four hours of just meal prep, where it was that four hours on Sunday, you do the groceries, you chop the veggies, you get salads ready for the week, and that allows you to be cooking less during the week and saving time. Uh, another example um, might just be on certain days, you know they're gonna be highly stressful. So those are the days that you plan more of restorative practice like yoga or meditation, a longer uh, session, maybe even just 30 minutes first thing in the morning because it's gonna allow you to be more efficient throughout the day because you've managed those stress levels. So those are just three examples. Remember, ask yourself the question, what in your life currently can you do less of but better? And that's one surefire way to allow your motivation to blossom.